first time you sat in first class on a flight. Coach is totally fine. You get in first class, and then coach after that just feels so cramped. You're spoiled, right? I'm spoiled with my pizza oven. Totally. See, I used to eat at Little Caesars growing up, and, and then if you build one, here's the deal. You're going to be spoiled. And you'll be a pizza snob. There's just no way around it. I mean, it's, it's really true. I love red onions and pistachios, OK? OK, back in 2009, took this picture with, with my crappy 2009 phone. And we're outside of this small pizzeria in uh, downtown Phoenix. Some of you might know it. So we're sitting there for three hours and wondering, man, is it worth it? So we get inside. And the smell of burning hardwoods fills the room. Oh, it's fantastic. I tell my wife, i got to build one of these things. But see, she's used to my crazy ideas. Um, I once talked her into helping me butcher two deer on a kitchen table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, and don't judge me. It's open range organic, all right? They're also tasty. So I don't suggest you do this alone. I was able to uh, bring in two, two fine folks. Um, they're, they're not the hardest of workers, um, but, but they don't take smoke breaks. Um, yeah. So I wanted to source all the materials locally. A little bit harder than I expected. I needed to go up to Cave Creek, out west to Glendale, far east to, to Mesa. Um, so a little more difficult, but I did find fire bricks, and that's what they're called. They get incredibly hot. This is what you build the oven out of. They're hard to build with. They're hard to cut. They're heavy. Essentially, they're the Chuck Norris of bricks. I mean, that's just <laughs> how it is. So, so you take your Chuck Norris bricks, and you put them in a herringbone pattern, and then you wrap a circle around where you want it, and you just simply cut the bricks to form your cooking surface. This becomes your cooking surface, OK? Well, your next step, then, is that you do a soldier course, which is simply you take the bricks and put them on their end and then just wrap it around the circle you just made. This becomes the base of your dome. It's also the first course in your dome. And then next here, I'm about four courses up. You can start to see the angle forming here. It's exciting. Um, you need to cut the bricks about as precisely as you can because you want them to fit perfectly. That holds the heat a lot better. And you just fill in the cracks with mortar. So I'm five courses up now, and this is the part I was worried about. I needed to build the arch. So I put a wooden form together, put the bricks on top, sliced it as best I could, and I was actually pretty happy with how it turned out. I was worried about it, but see, it was OK. So, so now I'm eight courses up. It takes about 12 to complete. So as I'm going, finishing night after night, I put the last piece in, the keystone, and I'm done, right? I was so excited, but I wasn't done. See. The brick oven requires a tremendous amount of insulation. So this, this material here can handle up to 2,200 degrees, and it has six inches of insulation. Six inches, OK? Then you wrap it in um, chicken wire, and then you finish that off with uh, mortar and stucco. It keeps the heat in, and then it keeps the elements out. You can put your hand on the outside of this and not feel a thing when it's cooking. It's amazing. Here's my first fire. I was so excited. Put it in the fire. When I found out the bricks actually turn white when they get hot, they get hotter than a Bluth corn baller and can take as many as two days to cool down, people. OK? What I did next is I raised it to 1,100 degrees, grabbed a filet mignon, and wrapped it in nature's finest, finest creation. Bacon. Thank you. Five minutes later, this magnificent creation came out. So excited. So now I'm totally hooked on steaks in my oven, OK? I'm spoiled. Sensing a theme? OK. But you don't always have to do high heat. I dropped it down to a balmy 300 degrees, put a small mesquite wood fire in the back, and let this smoke roll over this turkey for four hours. It was a spiritual experience. <laughs> yeah. But in the time it took me to give this talk, I can cook eight pizzas in my oven. And then I can bake bread in it the next day. It's true. I can melt aluminum in this oven. Aluminum, people. <laughs> what would you do? 